Patio. My name is Price. I'm coming at you with some more Slime Rancher. And welcome back to the beginner's map. I just want to come over here real quick and check out what we got running around in this region. Okay, we got our boomy Hellcats over here. Oh, goodness. We need to, uh, sending to land on a name for them. Y'all gave me some suggestions, so I'll certainly be, um, taking those into consideration. Y'all also gave me some great suggestions for these guys, and I think that the name that we're gonna land on is the Chandelier Slimes, because they fly up kind of like near the ceiling, and they've got these little crystal parts that hang off of them, and they project light. It's kind of like a chandelier! Um, and then we've already got the, um, Mosaic Phosphors named in their Disco Balls, so I feel like it goes along pretty well to have them named in that fashion. All right, let's grab some of these. And uh, today, I think the main focus that I would like to um, deal with would be making enough money so that we can get ourselves um, into the realm of using sciency stuff. So, if that's gonna be the case, then I'm definitely gonna need to be focusing on making money. We gotta make about 10K to get into the science area. So that is what we will be focusing on. Now, we have a couple more um, slime sets that we would also like to get, because right now we've only got, let's see, rock pinks, which we'll go ahead and feed y'all. Okay, enjoy. Um, these guys will eat Q berries if we've got any, but it looks like we're still waiting on this to grow. And this is fully upgraded, right? Yes, okay. Uh, so we'll deal with that. Uh, we'll, we'll feed them once we get a couple more Q-berries. And then we've got the Hunter uh, uh, Booms out that way, um, which y'all gave me a couple of names. I still uh, would like to think on some of those. The names that you gave me the most for were the, uh, the Crystal Phosphors, the uh, Chandelier Slimes. And then we got these Jelly Rolls, as we talk about. All right, just put the rest of those in there. Why not? Let's get all these plorts just to see where we're kind of at with the money. And we'll probably go out and try and get a couple of more slimes um, if we can today. Because we got crystal phosphors, we got these guys, we got hunters with booms. So we could get like, we could do honey with um, rads. That might be good. Those will be easy to feed. We've already got Oka Oka's here. So maybe we'll do that. And so we'll think, where do we want to put those guys? Well, if we've got all this space, and I don't think that we've opened this region yet, right? No, we have not. Okay. So if we're going to do that, we'll probably make another garden here um, and we'll make another um, corral here. So let's go ahead and make the corral. Let's get that ready. And like I said, for the uh, Hellcat kind of looking things, I don't know what we're going to call them yet, um, but we will um, work on um, building up a region and area for them um, once we feel a little bit more comfortable with the money that we're making here. Because I think that Rad honey slimes are going to be a little bit easier to care for and to get a large amount of. So we're going to just quickly go run out here and we're going to try and get ourselves some rad slimes. We're going to try and get ourselves some honey slimes. I think that'll help us out quite a bit. How are we doing on map areas? All right, we've got our nodes for the regions that we currently have unlocked. We unlocked two of the three slime keys in this region. So I'm assuming that that's the phosphor and the pink gordo. So we're missing one from this region. Ah, right, which is the pink uh, Gordo that's on the uh, island. We will go to the Moss Blanket first. Honey Slimes are more likely to be out during the day. Rad Slimes are more likely to be out during the night. So we're going to try and take advantage of that difference there. Uh, and yeah, we're just going to make our way over there. I'm just noticing right now that I moved my modem recently and it's kind of like right in the way where I don't want it. Wow, look at all these. Oh, we need Tabby Slimes too, don't we? We're going to need to mix something with Tabbies. Maybe we want to do... Hmm. So we could do honey tabbies. We could do rad tabbies. I don't know that I have had honey tabbies anytime recently. Rad tabbies I've got over on one of my other files. We call them perineums, um, which I think is a great name. So I feel like maybe honey tabbies would make more sense. But I also like this idea of doing these like honey rad slimes. It seems... Um, like something unique and different. So then we can save the tabbies for, ooh, for when we get mosaics. Some of y'all may know, my favorite, my favorite Gordo is the um, mosaic tabby Gordo, which is, uh, we call them Nyan Cats. Um, and uh, yeah, maybe we'll, maybe we'll do that. Okay, so let's go over here. Might be able to find a couple of honey slimes over here. Uh, we got some booms for sure. There's a couple honeys. All right. Let's get you out of here. Let me grab the mint mangoes. Mint mangoes are usually a pretty good thing to uh, work with. Let me 
Let's see. I guess that's going to be that. Uh, I could come and start breeding briar hens at some point. That would help us with those hunter boom combos that we have. Um, so we might want to do that. I am thinking of we'll eventually want some other uh, hens as well for when we get tangle slimes eventually. But I'm talking a little bit ahead of the game. This is beginner series, so let's focus on beginner stuff. Um, so, uh, grab all y'all. Sure, why not grab your... Oh, all right, so we got 10 of these guys, then all we're going to need... Like that 12. All we're going to need is a couple of rad plorts, and we're good to go. So let's get our ways back. Let's get these guys home. Let's uh, get some food planted. I'll grab all these uh, plorts, and then we'll head out to the indigo quarry to uh, deal with the rest of that. I saw some hunter plorts over there. It's going to make a sticky bandit, or maybe... Oh, okay, so a, a pink hunter combo. I'm not exactly sure if we have a name for those guys either. Pretty cool looking, though. Okay. Let's get these honey slimes up in this business. Okay. And let's sell these honey plorts real quick. 50 apiece. Not bad. And lastly, let us... Let's go ahead and... I can make a garden at least. And I know I'm spending a lot of money now, but basically my idea here is that I'm going to spend a little bit of money here early on in order to get kind of the infrastructure up and running. And then what I'll do is I might just honestly sleep through a couple of days. Um, because if you do that, let's go ahead and grab all these because there's a lot of plorts out here. Um, if you do that, you can kind of speed up your time, like your own time for getting through stuff. Obviously, it costs you more in-game time. But if you're not worried about any kind of like um, artificial you know, uh, timeline that you put on yourself, like saying, oh, I want to make sure to get all this done within the first four days or something like that, then honestly, sleeping through days is a really effective strategy to um, getting through uh, a lot of things um, very quickly, uh, getting uh, further along in the game very quickly. Uh, okay, let's leave these guys out of here. Silly nightlights. Okay. And honestly, we're just looking for like one rad slime. Or even better, just a whole bunch of rad plorts. And then we're good to go. Now, there is a rad uh, Gordo here that we would like to feed at some point, which, uh, let me check, we have zero of two, so we definitely have not fed him yet. Um, so that would be worthwhile for us to try and do at some point. Okay, got this one mint mango. I don't really need if there's anything else worth picking up. So like, pick up all these rock plorts. That's something. Stay behind, buddy. Okay. Do, do, do. And so, yeah, my goal, I would love... There they are. Good old rads. Did you just make a Largo? You did, you butt. Okay. Could you eat something then? Ouch. That hurt. Um, and we got Tars on our hands. And it was a rad that turned into a Tar. Great. I need you to make something, buddy. So I need you to come with me. Because you're making things difficult for me by getting yourself... Eh. All right. And there's nothing to eat there, of course. How about over here? Anything? Nope, all dead. All right, well, hopefully this guy will eat something here in a little bit. I'm going to cross the way, though. We do have a jetpack, so we should be able to make it. And there's usually a ton of rad slimes over here. Yeah, there we go. Like I said, even just one of them. And yeah, eat that, please. No, no, you. Yeah. Give me, um, give me this. Okay. Go ahead, eat stuff, make plorts. We get some more plorts, please. Is that all we're going to get? I think that might be all we're going to get. Okay. Well, let's just go ahead. We're going to run through this way, and we're going to use the teleporter. This can help y'all. Um, I don't know if we've gone this way yet, but um, this teleporter is a nice, easy way of getting your way back from the indigo quarry. You just head straight through here. And we'll even take a quick detour, just so y'all can see that here on the map, see this spot right here? That's where the Rad Gordo is. Okay, so that's where you're going to get yourself a, uh, a nice slime key for yourself. Let's go ahead and drop this here. Now, let me see. Ah, I was hoping there would be some food there. Sometimes there's food there. So it's like a nice easy bit of vegetable to give to this guy because no slimes spawn over there. But uh, let's just go ahead and get home. Let's get our uh, honey rad slimes up and running. And uh, then from there, we will 
um, get on to making our monies. I think that that's a, a good plan for today, because like I said, the main thing I would like to get us to, at least by the end of this episode, if not during this episode, is science. Because the slime science stuff is very important to progressing through the game. So there's that teleporter. Alright, let's launch this guy in here. Okay, let's launch this guy in here. And now here's what we're going to do. We're going to take all these Okokas. We're going to slowly but surely transform all those dudes. Alright, let's give you all a couple Q-berries. And is this tree, has it produced any? It still hasn't produced any. Like, they're finally growing on there, so hopefully they'll be done soonish. But let's get you. Let's get you. So that should give us a bunch of plorts. And now we're just going to wait a little bit. Play the waiting game. Okay. Now. Yeah, let's do this. All right, here we go. Now it's working. Kind of throwing these around a little bit. So at start, we're not going to get a whole bunch of profit off of these guys because we're still waiting on them to all transform. So all the rad plorts are basically going to be eaten by the little honey slimes. Uh, let's go ahead and grab a couple more because I want to make sure... Here, you eat that. You eat that, please. And then you can eat veggies, so you'll be happy. No. There you go. Okay, I think we got them all. Perfect. Okay, so now, let's hit that button again. And now we're in a bit more of a comfortable position. Let's sell off all these pink ports. Might as well. And we also have a letter to read, so why don't we go ahead and read that letter. And then, like I said, we're going to start maybe sleeping through some days. So, what do we got for our letters? We've got two of them. One from Ogden Ortiz and Casey. So, let's start with Casey, and then we'll move on to Ogden. <clears throat> Take a sip of my coffee here. R.E. The Big Storm. Casey. I got your mail. <laughs> of course I remember that day. I feel like that was when you and I really connected. It was raining so hard that the streets were flooding and we took shelter in that cafe. It was like a scene from a movie, only we both looked like wet animals. And the guy running the shop was a real tyrant. The only way uh, we could stay inside was by ordering one coffee after another. I felt like we learned more about each other that day than ever. Maybe it was the coffee because we were both talking really, really fast. I told you about my dreams, making music and all that. At least, that's how I remember it. Walking home, when the rain came back and you got closer to me and my heart was racing, but I couldn't blame that on the coffee. Casey, they're so sweet. Ugh, Casey and Bia, so sweet. Okay, now from Ogden. Um, let's see. Do do do. Mostly fancy myself as a farmer. Okay, let's do something like this. All right. Hi, Beatrix. The name's Ogden Ortiz. I'm a slime rancher much like yourself, but I mostly fancy myself as a farmer. I came to the far, far range to grow fruits and veggies the way we used to back on Earth. By getting down into the soil and getting your hands dirty. Did you know that carrots improve your night vision? Beta carotene. Yeah, seriously, they do. I don't see why all ranchers aren't just gobbling them down every chance they get. Being lost out on the range at night can be so dangerous. Well, don't let me ramble on you here. We'll be in touch via the range exchange. I tend to only raise slimes that eat fruits and veggies, so expect those kinds of requests from me. Looking forward to doing business with you. Oh, oh. P.S. You ever heard of Gilded Ginger? It's a mythical veggie that is said to be the favorite food of the equally mythical Golden Slime. But some say that neither of them actually exist. Well then. Uh, I've played a little bit of this game, so i got some spoilers for you there, buddy. Um, but, regardless. Okay, so got you, got you, got you. Let's go quickly check our farms. Just want to see what we've got up and running. Okay... Looks good. Some of these guys are going to be a little bit hungry, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and we're going to sleep for the night. Okay. And like I said, this is a good way of just forcing yourself through to making a whole bunch of money. Is to just keep using time. Uh, it's on your side, y'all. So, we'll grab all these. We will feed our slimes. We'll grab some plorts and sell them. And then we'll do it again. And uh, honestly, that's not a bad way to get yourself to the next tier of this game. Right? Oh, this one's not uh, upgraded. That's right, because I just bought it. That's fine, though. Don't need need this one. It is a net benefit. Oh, and that one fell. Okay, cool. So, we'll give you all these. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. And we'll want to check our... Um, 
range exchange. Or not our, our, both our range exchange and our... Oh, hey, I brought a briar hand. Cool. Oh, no, wrong ones. Whoops. Those are for these guys. Um, I... Feed those guys those. Uh, our plort market is what I meant. We need to check and make sure that this hasn't dropped too dramatically anywhere. No, nope, everything's looking good. So we can, we can definitely sell pretty much everything and not worry about running out of money or anything like that. Let's grab a couple more of these. Because these also... I can throw a couple in there. And then a couple up in here. All right. Now. Oop. Launch! Did I get it? Did I get it? Oh, not quite at all. Hello, Brian Han. And honestly, before we do any of the gathering of those, let's run around in here. And let's see how these guys are doing. Any plorts around? Yeah, y'all are wild childs. There's a plort. Do 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 do. There are plenty of chickens for y'all to be eating. Oh, hello. Eat that. Do do do. do. All right. So right now they're all still doing their thing. I think because I'm not coming in here often, they're not really uh, doing anything about it. Hey, you, go eat. Do 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 do. So I'll have to probably come and manually feed them in a little bit, but we'll, we'll get them a corral set up at some point. But right now, this is what it's all about right here. Selling off all these plorts. Oh man, they're looking hungry. So I'll definitely have to make sure to uh, get them some more food. I could throw some of those pogo fruits in here, I guess. We got a lot of these guys. I might want to make myself a second um, Q-berry tree to help with that. But let's see how much money we can make in a single yield in a single morning. Look at that, we're at 2,000 from just this first little chunk. No big deal. The rad honeys, that should give us a good amount of money. Those should be not quite as valuable as the crystals, but pretty close. Um, so that's going to help us out tremendously. The uh, the pink rocks, the jelly rolls, those guys don't give us a lot of money, but they're kind of like a, they're like a staple. They're like a bread and butter for us, you know? All right. Very nice. Very nice. I mean, honestly, this will take us one more day, and then we'll have the 10 grand that we need to get into the uh, uh, science area. Like, we might get close to it with these guys, but I, I doubt it. I think we're we're going to need one more day of uh, feeding, which is fine. Ooh, look at all them plorts. That's a lot. All right. So, once we got this up and running, once we got the science, then it'll be a little bit uh, tricky about where and how we want to orient all of our science machines because that is a really big part. Wow, it's a lot of plots. That is a really big part of um, doing the science stuff in this. So I'm going to be happy to have some time to talk about it. Um, and since we're getting a variety of slimes, we're setting ourselves up really well for science-related stuff because that's one of the biggest things that you're going to need for science. Like, um, up until the science stuff, you could be fooled into thinking that you could just have one set of really valuable slimes and just having tons of them everywhere, feeding them all the same thing, and that it would work out just fine for you. Um, and you wouldn't be that far off, honestly. Like, you can do that pretty well for most of the um, early stages of this game. But once it comes to science, you need all of the different types of plorts. So you need to make sure that you are getting all the different types of slimes if uh, you want to be able to actually do everything having to do with science. I need to remember to check the range exchange um, because the Another thing that's been um, changed, uh, not recently, it's been a change ever since they added science, I believe, is that on the range exchange, you can actually get as a reward um, some kinds of... Uh, oh, look, this is Ogden. Oh, he's so cute. Ogden Ortiz, I'm working on a new recipe. Help me out. Um, so what's... Uh, what you can get is like science materials, and so there are special items that are only science materials, and uh, you get those from using scientific machines um, in order to extract them from the environment, and uh, also you can get them in some random chests, and you can get them from um, uh, range exchange rewards. And it looks like I was wrong. We actually have enough money already, so this is great. We're going to go ahead and we're just going to go uh, get into the science area because it's also going to expand the number of plorts, or <laughs> plorts, plots that we have, um, which will also help us uh, in getting the next set of slimes that we want to get. Okay, so let's go ahead and unlock this area. Hello, Briarhan. 
So let's pay our 10 grand. Purchase. Okay. So now we've unlocked the lab and this is really where a huge chunk of the game opens up that you didn't have access to before, all right? So let's go over here. It's time to get crafty. And actually, let me go see if we've got any more plorts that I can grab because that will be something that I'll probably need to attend to. Um, I think that the machine starts with a couple of pieces of machinery in it. Um, but yeah, let's just see. Any of y'all eat recently? Anyone? Anyone? Bueller? There we go. That's all I wanted. Just a couple of plorts. Cool. So we'll grab all these. And we'll grab all these. Okay. So as you can see right there, it's saying to use the refinery. In order to fabricate gadgets, you'll need resources in your refinery. Try shooting a plort into the refinery. But remember, any resources deposited in the refinery cannot be removed. So now you're basically making the decision, do I want to be making money or do I want to be doing science? So I'm going to click on this first before I put anything in it. So you see we have zero of everything, all right? There's a whole bunch of stuff that is a mystery to us because we haven't found those items yet. You'll see that all the plorts that we've come across so far are in here. And you can imagine that several of these are also plorts that we just haven't discovered yet and then you have all the science items that we haven't discovered any of yet but you'll see that at the top we have zero pink plorts zero rock plorts if i go ahead and fire these suckers in there we check it again boom four pink plorts four rock plorts okay pretty straightforward right let me wait for the next part of the tutorial all right the builder shop you come over here you buy blueprints okay we're definitely going to want all of these um, a pink teleporter would be nice because teleporters are super nice these are actual teleporters that you can you know set up in one spot and then you can teleport somewhere else uh, let me go ahead and we're gonna buy we'll get the pump first okay um, and you'll see that cost us money so we, we lost a little bit of money there and we're gonna wait a second for it to activate the next part of the tutorial Come on, the fabricator. Once you have a blueprint, uh, the fabricator allows you to craft gadgets using resources stored in the refinery. Give it a try. So obviously we don't have anything stored in the um, refinery yet enough to make something. But if we want to make a novice drill, we just need some rock ports, red ports, and pink ports. Novice pump, tabby ports, boom ports, and pink ports. So obviously we need tabby ports. And you'll, you'll see pink plorts are a major component of a lot of stuff. So getting a lot of pink plorts, really, really valuable. Uh, okay, so that is... Uh, uh, the science area with the refinery, the blueprint shop, and the um, fabricator. And if we press T, you'll now see science plots. And these are everywhere, all right? These are all over the place. You can find them out on the far, far range. You'll find them on the different parts of the ranch. Um, and here, you, uh, as it says there, you can't vac, you can't do any of the normal stuff. It completely changes your controls, right? And so it's always important to pay attention to that little symbol in the middle there if you're in this mode. Hit T again, you're out of it. If you go to one of these building sites and you press E, you can pick from the different gadgets that you have built and you can place them there. All right, so this gives you a lot of customizability um, for the future. Now, we're gonna need some plorts to make some things. Once you've found a build site, approach it to open the gadget menu. Simply select the gadget you wish to place. Yes, indeed, we've already done that. Now, uh, how are we doing on plorts here, y'all? Y'all get me some stuff. All right, well, we know we need rad plorts for the drills. And if we can get a couple more pink and rock plorts, we might be in some business. Let's go ahead and uh, let's grab these Oka Okas. Those up there. How are we doing here? Two. Two. I'm going to go run out into the uh, far, far range. And we're just going to go grab some uh, random pink plorts and rock plorts if we can find them. Usually they're not too hard to find. Like so. Uh, thank you. Okay, so there's six plorts, seven plorts. That should be enough of those. Oh yeah, tons of pink plorts. Tons of pink plorts. Just vacking them all up. Yeah, give me that stuff. And so this is a nice easy way to get, you know, a handful of pink plorts if you're like just missing some for your next build. Um, but uh, also having your own pink slimes is a really, really smart thing to do. Uh, let's go ahead and do all that. Let's just get a full 30 if we can. So I'm gonna do this. Boom, 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 boom. Eat all these carrots, y'all. Give me all the plorts. Thank you. What do you do? Oh, Largos. Always making it so difficult to pick up the plorts. What do you do? Give me all this stuff. All right, we're at 30 on the pink. And another nine. Any more? Just get as many as we can. Always useful. Okay. So that'll be a fair enough amount. I think we should be able to, with this, uh, build ourselves at least one drill. And that is something that we would like to get. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, sorry. Okay. 
So once we have this, then the question becomes, where do we put stuff? Where do we want to put our drills? Where do we want to put our different science machines in order to take the best advantage of science in this game? Because science, um, like I said, it opens up a whole lot of possibilities. Being able to set down teleporters, being able to set down um, refinery and market links, um, which we'll talk about uh, a little bit later. Um, all kinds of things that are extremely useful um, for us. And so throughout the coming episodes, as we gain the materials to do so, we'll talk about the specific specific different science machines but for right now we're just talking about science in general um, in slime rancher we also have these four plots plus a fifth plot over here to work with uh, so that's also important to remember is uh, that this opening up this area for 10 grand doesn't only get you access to science but that is a huge part of it um, but it also does give you five more uh, plots to work with so we can now make two drills so let's make two novice drills perfect okay so if you wanted to, you could totally put a drill here. All right, you could totally put a drill on your ranch, okay? Uh, you'll also see, allows you to drill for buried resources, lasts one cycle. This machine will break after its first use. There are higher level ones that you will unlock as you go along. Um, but there are also some important things to know about the different extractors. So we're gonna actually pull up our Slimepedia so that I can explain those to you as well. So extractors okay um extractors are a special class of slime science gadget that are essential for building all other types of gadgets extractors include drills pumps and apiaries we have some drills that we built we have unlocked the blueprint for pumps and apiaries are something that we'll have to unlock in the future once placed on a build site an extractor will begin working collecting resources from the environment this basically takes a day all right so if you want to um, experience a cycle of your extractors uh, rest a full day and they should be ready to access the next day after it's been a full in-game 24 hours okay um, once it is full of resources an extractor can be emptied the best extractors can repeat this cycle multiple times before they finally break down so since we have the first level extractors right now we're only gonna get one use out of each one now this is the important stuff each extractor can find exclusive resources if used in the correct zone pumps can find a special resource in the dry reef drills can find a special resource in the indigo quarry apiaries can find a special resource in the moss blanket and all extractors find special resources in the glass desert uh, so you obviously want to have pumps in the dry reef drills in the indigo quarry and apiaries in the moss blanket the other thing is that you also want to have some of each in the glass desert now you might be asking yourself well price why don't you just put them everywhere why don't you just cover the whole map in these drills and all the other extractors well the problem with that is there is a limit you can only have six of each type of extractor at any given time so with that limitation you have to take into consideration okay can i actually um uh, uh, how am I going to ration my drills and my other extractors across the different areas? And so what I've come to for me that works, and this can vary depending on what specifically you need, I tend to put um, four of each type of specific extractor in their main area. So in the indigo quarry, we will put four drills. In the dry reef, we will put four pumps. In the... Um, moss blanket we will put four apiaries and then i put two of each in the glass desert when we get there you'll see this isn't the, actually the glass desert. this is the ruins this is the glass desert um in the ruins you can also get um echoes from your extractors as well but that's a whole separate thing um Ultimately, echoes are for decoration, though. They're not for use in science or anything like that. So they're kind of a secondary thing that you would want to work for later on in the game. So the glass desert will put two of each there. We're not in the glass desert yet, so I'm just going to be focusing on this main area. Since each of these that we have can only go um, for one cycle anyways, not a huge deal. So while I'm heading out this way, I am also going to be picking up pink plorts like I always do. Because again, now we're focused on making sure we always have ingredients for science. I'm going to show you my favorite spot to put um uh drills and hopefully you'll see why once i get there i don't know if we have the whole thing ready to go but i think it should explain itself pretty much uh once you see it all right we've got quite a few of these do i need to be picking up chickens i might need to be picking up chickens I just look around sir chickadoos are fine they'll grow up all right here we go Thank you, and you, and you. All right, cool. So, we're going to go over this way. 
Um, and when you get a little bit out this way between the moss blanket and the um, dry reef, there's an area where it's essentially... Oh my gosh, get out of here. Um, do -do -do -do, where there's a teleporter. Uh, that you can take advantage of. Let's get rid of the rooster. Grab the stony hands. Stony hands are more valuable in this. Nope, you come with me. Thank you. Oh, I love the little mew noise that they make. It's so adorable. Okay. Howdy, y'all. So, in a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put down some drills in an area of the map that is not the ideal location for drills. It's actually the ideal location for pumps. Uh, you want to make sure you put drills in the indigo quarry. You want to make sure that you put pumps in the dry reef. And you want to make sure that you put apiaries in the uh, moss blanket. And that's how you're going to get all of the rare resources that you're going to want to get from those in the first few areas. Then once you make it to the glass desert, you'll want to put a little bit of each of them. So in the video, I'm going to show you a spot that I really like putting for pumps, but I use my drills there on this one just as a way of illustrating quickly uh, how these things work. But the more optimal location to put those drills would be in the indigo quarry next to the teleporter in the indigo quarry that you get after you pop the rock gordo. Anyway, just wanted to let you all know that ahead of time uh, so that you know the optimal places to put these uh, extractors. And uh, with that, enjoy the rest of the video. See ya. So right over here, which I have not unlocked yet, there is this uh, tabby, right? And this tabby gordo is actually hiding a teleporter underneath him. When you step on this teleporter, you're gonna go straight back to the ranch. You're actually gonna teleport to right about here. Um, and so this is where the um, overgrowth is. And so we'll teleport to here. And so then that gives us a nice quick through line with an already made teleporter. So we don't have to waste one of our teleporters that are ours. Um, we can actually just go ahead and um, teleport from this one. So that's nice too. So I like to use this spot as kind of my um, area for drills. So you'll notice there are two plots right in front here and we have two drills so we're gonna just go ahead and put those right there all right now the other places that you'll put stuff will be here all right this is a good spot for it now these guys are dangerous but they only come out at night so as long as you make sure to check your things during the day or you're willing to just accept that you're gonna have to fight off a couple of slimes it's no big deal now let's go run around and try and find ourselves oh we're just gonna leave for right now we're gonna go run around and try and find ourselves some more um, oh, I can fight them. I can fight them. Being heartless. Fight the Taz! Get them out of here! The Dominator is here to destroy you! You think you can take on my slimes now? Alright, got him. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sometimes my alter ego, the Tarminator, he just, he gets anxious. Alright, let's uh, refill our water. So, I'm gonna quickly run around and look for some more, um, chickens. Some more hen hens for a little bit. Um, uh, just to see if we can't move this, uh teleporter further along i'm also going to grab all these chickadoos and you'll see what i did earlier was i launched them back behind the um gordo over here and that's because they will stay here and they will grow up so all of these little chickadoos they're going to grow up into full-size hen hens um and we'll be able to feed the um gordo with those um tomorrow so that'll at least give us a little bit more um help there i'm gonna wait for my energy to build up come on Okay, let's go. Do, 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 do. Wait until the evil slimes pop up and then go! Ooh, this is a dangerous zone. It's a dangerous, dangerous zone. But there's always stony hands. Come here. Come here. And stony hens are the favorite food of tabbies. So by having stony hens, these are going to each be worth double. So that's why I wanted to give that place a check. There were only two that time, which is too bad. Um, but it happens. And we got ourselves another 30 pink plorts. So that's going to be great for our um, science as well. And we're just going to we're going to come back here. Oh, whoops. I threw the full size ones out over here, didn't I? There we go. You eat those. Thank you. So we'll totally get that teleporter set up tomorrow. That'll be great. We're going to go put these pink plorts in to our um, refinery. And we are going to set the day forward, do some feeding of our slimes, and we'll come check our extractors sometime around. Do, 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 do. Um, this time tomorrow. So it'll be around like 15 or 1600 uh, will be the time that we'll want to check. And so that's what we will do. The other thing we'll do is we're going to keep making a little bit of money. Oh, we could buy treasure pod unlockers. That's another thing that we're going to be doing. Maybe next time we'll spend some time running around doing some, uh, some treasure related stuff. Um, but yeah, we're going to um, focus on these extractors and we're going to try and get ourselves a little bit of money and maybe upgrade some more of our um, 
areas that have to do with um, gardening. If we can build up our gardens, that can help us. Uh, oh, don't want to be selling those. Caught myself halfway through. That's fine. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab all these. Let's get some more food. Get into our dudes, because they're looking a little hungry. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Okay, Oka Okas are still growing. Let's grab these. Oh, we got some key berries. Good, good, good. So I'm actually going to probably take some of these mint mangoes, and we're going to... Um, do, do, do. We're going to feed some of them to these guys, but I want to make sure that we feed all of our crystal... our chandelier slimes first. Uh, because... I feel like I didn't feed them enough the day before. Like, I almost want to make myself a second... Qberry um, garden just to be safe, you know? All right, so let's get a couple of them in there. Let's make sure we feed all these dudes. So I don't want any hungry slimes. So like, you, you're hungry. You shouldn't be hungry. I don't want you looking hungry. Okay. I'm gonna throw a couple of these in there as well. Okay. And then for these dudes, let's go ahead and do this. And I am gonna go ahead and just go to sleep. Um, oh, and we have some mail. So let's check our mail. So, we got some mail from Mochi Miles and from Casey. Uh, so let's start with Mochi Miles. Mochi Miles is kind of like a, a rich, well-to-do socialite uh, in this world. So she kind of like sticks her nose up at Bia. So, <clears throat> no subject. Mochi Miles. Well, well, it seems like another wannabe rancher has signed up for a lonely existence on a faraway space rock. Congrats, Beatrix. I'm Mochi Miles. That's Miles, as in Tatsuya Miles, the billionaire. I'm here to do important business for my dad, but that doesn't mean I won't make all the rest of these backwater types out here look bad in the process. No one conquers the port market like I do, day in, day out. My dad gives me the inside track, so look forward to my requesting ports that I know will make me huge profits later on. So, I wish you the best of luck, Beatrix. Maybe you'll even reach second place. And at the very least, you can tell your friends that you helped out the great Mochi Miles in her conquest of the far, far range. Later, Tater. Mochi Miles, top rancher. Mochi is insufferable. All right, Casey, the death hike. Hi, Bea. Do you remember when you took me hiking? <laughs> I still didn't know how serious you were about the whole outdoors thing then, and your idea of a hike just about killed me. I showed up in normal clothes and shoes, and you were decked out and had like a pack and gear. <laughs> it was a nightmare for me. <laughs> I think it was around the five mile mark when I was drenched in sweat and ready to collapse that I realized our ideas of fun were two very different things. Also, you weren't even out of breath then, and I still totally hate you for that. <laughs> Casey. Aw, that's cute. But it also shows maybe part of what got between them and why they are no longer in the same place together. The whole KCB story is like, oh, like it's pretty heartbreaking. It's pretty heartbreaking. Uh, okay, so let's get these plorts in here. Let's work a little bit more on upgrading our um, ranch plots. And like I said, around 1600, we'll try and go set up the, uh, get some stuff from our uh, drills should be ready to go we'll uh, we'll run through we'll grab all the um, chickens that we can that'll help us out a little bit so what are we gonna do as far as with all these ports I do think that while I should turn some of them in for money some of them would also be useful for um, science so it's a tricky it's a tricky balance to make right now I'm gonna focus less on getting more science machines because honestly what I might do is in between this episode and next episode I might just build up some more sciencey stuff so that when we come back next time I can show you off all of the uh, different types of science machines and like right there that just gave us enough money to you know really build things up a little bit do 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 so yeah, let's keep it that. Uh, so, let's do this. Okay, and let's do this. Perfect. And we can even probably make one more um, garden plot. And then I'm going to feel really good about where we're at. Then I'm going to feel like we're totally set. So, y'all, here's your food. So I have tons of food for these guys because I have the Oka Okas and the... Um, 
mint mangoes. And you'll see that the prices for these plorts have dropped, so I do need to be thoughtful about that and maybe consider um, building a silo and storing up plots for the future. So that's another thing that we could do, or plorts rather, I said plots. Um, so that's another thing to consider. Uh, and I do think for these guys, I'm going to build a second Q-berry tree. Um, and we just, you know, maybe we'll have another slime that can eat Q-berries as its um, food as well, just to kind of balance that out. So let's get a garden. And let's nutrient soil sprinkler. Okay, so that one's good to go. And let's sell all these as well. Um, and like I said, I do think that to, a, to an extent, the major thing here is we want to get our infrastructure up and running so that we can make tons and tons of plorts all the time. Um, so that when it comes down to it, it's uh, it's really no big deal for us to uh, just um, set aside the plorts for science, right? And so that's a kind of a balancing thing that you got to figure out on your own, like what's your balance? Honestly, as per usual, you can take this game at your pace. You don't have to play at any speed that makes you feel like you're going too far. Let's buy the tank buster for sure. Let's buy the treasure cracker. Oh, that's 4,500, so we'll need to save up for that. So we'll try and get that by the end of the episode. We're almost uh, out of time here. Um, but let us, I just want to just see, how's everything growing? Are you fully upgraded as well? You are? Okay. So I think what we're going to do, let's sell these ports real quick. Um, and let's go get that teleporter open. So since we don't have enough to buy the treasure cracker, we'll just save that for next time. We'll do treasure pods, le uh, you know, level one. Next episode, we'll go around and grab a whole bunch of those. Um, let's grab our power core. And that should be enough for now. And let's go see if we can't open up that teleporter. And we can check on our science machines. Maybe they are ready to go. We now have 200 sprint. That's great. Um, okay. Do, 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 do. Oh, chickens. Man, they, they eat those chickens so quickly. Okay. Let's keep it going. Do, do. There's more chickens in the background. And they're going to get eaten, like, right away. Okay, come here. Thank y'all. And there's the roost rows. Give me all of them. All right, cool. Nope, come with me. Thank you. All right. And then finally, hey, jelly roll. You're rolling on into town. All right, and then right here, right? Oh, wow, usually they pop up there. Hmm, all right, well, let's grab all the pink uh, plorts, as per usual, and let's see how all these chickens are doing. Yeah, see that? See all the chickens that grew? Isn't that great? Oh, what? Not chickadoos. Let's get you those. Let's feed you these. Okay. And let's grab all these chickens that we put around you and see if those work for you, huh? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, perfect. And there we go. We got ourselves a whole bunch of tabbies and whatever's in there. Whoa! They love playing, don't they? Now, let me go see if there's a uh, Q-berry over here so I can plant my second farm. There are. Perfect. And let's check our science machines. They're dancing, so I think they're ready to go. That they are. That they are. Perfect. So, let's get all y'all out of here. Do, 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 do. Let's get rid of the tabby slimes. And so, here's the other thing. Now that we've got this teleporter, and I've used up most of my inventory space, I'm actually going to get rid of these pink plorts because I'd like to grab everything that comes out of here. So, we've got some jelly stone. Okay, and now you see, oh, the drill is gone. Let's do it over here. Oh, more jelly stone. So those ones only gave us jelly stone. That was actually like a pretty, that was a pretty poor yield. Um, there are four different types of items that you can get from these machines. And uh, we got the lowest level one, but we got a lot of it. So it's not like it's necessarily a bad thing, but uh, it is uh, less than ideal. I expected a little bit more than that. Anyway, now you can see we are back here. Everything's good. How are y'all doing? Hope y'all are happy out here. Crazy, monstrous thingies. Uh, and that is that. So, let's go ahead and we're just going to sell these two tabby ports real quick. Um, let's plant our next Q-berry tree. And I'm going to go throw this stuff in the... Um, refinery and i think that's where we're going to end this episode so do please down below make sure to ask any questions that you have about science related stuff like i said between episodes i'm probably going to do a little bit of off-camera work and i'm going to try to um really uh get some science stuff up and running so i'll basically just you know use what we've got and we will um uh get some get some real major work done all right let's uh do, 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 do. i may 
When we start up next episode, I may have some more slimes because, like I said, we do have to worry about our um, the different types of ports. Like, I need to get some tabby ports up and running if I'm going to be making any um, pumps. Um, so that is something that I'll have to figure out kind of ahead of time. All right, just making sure to feed everybody when there's food for them. Okay, we're looking good. So let's go put these things away, and then that'll be pretty much where we're done. Although, really quickly, we did just get a letter from Bob. I want to read the letter from Bob because Bob is hilarious. Star mail from Bob. Hello, Bob. Hello, 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 chickens. Hello, chickens. Chicken. Hello, Bob. Plus, this is chicken. Hello, Bob. <laughs> so let's go look at a picture of Bob because Bob's obviously interested in chickens. Hmm. Bob may appear to be a couple of pink slimes stacked on top of one another inside of a trench coat. And I absolutely love it. <laughs> okay. So Bob is the best. And uh, let's go ahead and put this stuff away. And so, yeah, that's going to be where we're going to end this episode, y'all. So thank you so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, please be sure to give this video a like, a favorite, subscribe to the channel. Leave your questions down below, and I will do my best to get to them in a future episode. Um, we're going to be focusing a little bit more on science next time, and we're going to be focusing on getting our treasure pod uh, unlocker. Because guess what? There's a treasure pod back here, and it's going to help us move forward with some things. So with all that, y'all, thank you so much for watching, and uh, I will see y'all next time.